Welcome in, Sledge here. Today we're going to discuss optimizing your wind turbines. The wind turbine is pretty straightforward in my opinion, compared to the solar panels. Before we start, if you can do me a solid and like this video and subscribe, I love you forever. Once we hit 2500 subs, I'm going to do something special for y'all. Now to start, here's the general stats of a turbine. To make one, you need 500 wood, 10 high quality metal, 3 gears, and sheet metal. If you study this item at a research table, it'll cost you 125 scrap. If you go the tech tree route, find on the workbench level 2 and bring 804 scrap to work your way down to this item. The turbine is a permanent item, so once it's placed, there's no going back. The turbine runs day and night, unlike its counterpart, the solar panel, and can create anywhere from 0 to 150 power. Let's jump into placement and the study behind these bad boys. First things first, direction does not matter when placing one of these turbines. The reason why is because these turbines rotate the blades in a full 360 manner, catching those gnarly gusts from all directions. What does matter for this item is its height. Sometimes longer does mean better. At ground level, the turbine will already create roughly 35 to 60 power, and for every level higher, it will add roughly 3.5 to 5 additional power. After some testing, the turbines had some variance in power collection. I think this is due to the weather and game each day. The maximum you will need to build up to is 12 floors for the ultimate power pull. Beyond this, and you'd only find gains of around 1 to 2 power per floor. It's also important to note that ground level means your base's first floor. So this doesn't mean that you build on a mountaintop and get 150 power on the first floor of your base. You need to make each floor relevant to your base's first level. So unfortunately, where you are on the map has no effect on total power received. It is also important to note that if you have a structure blocking the wind's path to your turbine, it will not gain any power. I hope this quick lesson on wind turbines will help you on your next Rust Rodeo. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. I'll see you as the wind drifts us into the next video. Peace, nerds.